Good morning, Facebook. What's up, y'all? I think this thing might be a little bit fun. I don't know if that helped, but um, boom, getting ready to go to work. And uh, this Byron Rogers, one of the things that was on my mind today, I wanted to make a video about is shortcuts. Um, man, shortcuts in life. I always say that the easy road generally can become unbearably difficult in the end. Uh, and one of the things I've noticed about life is how awesome it is that it's so, life is, there's such a high level of accountability um, in life. You know, there's such a high level of like kind of accuracy. It's like this, I know not everything seems to be fair and stuff, but it's like this high level of like, you're not getting the results that you don't deserve. You're just not. You can try, but you're just not gonna get them. And a human being can like, you can lie to yourself for a while, but then things in your life are really gonna start like causing you pain to get you to grow and to get you to move and things are gonna stop working and like your grades are reflected and like your finances are reflected. You can, you can lie to yourself about like how tight you are or about how like unfortunate or whatever it is, but like your life is gonna start like shifting in ways that like get you to start realizing like maybe you know it's not me or maybe I'm not a site you know like your life I'm noticing that you know especially with people that talk to me like your life is generally reflecting back to you it is reflecting back to you your fruit in a very accurate hey what's up good morning Chris in a very accurate way and a lot of us experience a lot of pain because we look at the results we have in life inaccurately. We look at the results we have in life and we kind of judge ourselves and we get down on ourselves. Um, and because we have like that mode inside of ourselves to judge and get down on ourselves, we just don't look at things accurately. Because like to see, sometimes <clears throat> I feel like for people to see where they're really at accurately, they're subconsciously, not unconsciously, but very subconsciously like afraid of accepting the responsibility of what it would mean to see their situation accurately. You know, like what does it mean that, you know, like you're not where you want to be in some areas of your life? Like to a person who is highly critical or judgmental or has like some insecurities in a lot of ways. Hey, what's up? Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Joe. Good morning, Patrick. Good morning, Radu. Um, that means that they're not good enough, you know? And that means that like, it's their fault that they haven't gotten those results. But to me, it's like, no, man, this is your life. This is your life's work. To me, it means, you know, if you're not where you wanna be, it's more like, yeah, you haven't done the work, but you can do the work. You still have the ability to do the work. You still have this almighty, awesome opportunity to do the work. And it really doesn't have to do with like, you being good enough or not good enough. Something that I, I, you know, I've been thinking about lately too is this whole chaos theory. You know, um, what I, I don't think chaos really exists. I think what exists is the lack of perception to be able to properly appreciate what we're seeing take place within our lives. Like, so things happen in your life, they don't make sense today, but when you zoom out a few years later at a sufficient distance, you realize that those things made sense because they got you to where you, you know, where you want to be, where you are. Um, they actually were very, they were effective in helping you become X, Y, Z or, or one, two, three or whatever. So I don't really think there's really a th such thing as chaos. I think all things, you know, like all things really can work together if you are able to find the empowering meaning in those things. If you're able to, to work through them properly and accurately. Um, you can transmute those things from positives to, from negatives to positives. So this whole journey thing, it's not about like taking responsibility, looking for shortcuts. The thing I love about life is there are none. Life is like an aptitude test. Like there's no really way to like study for this thing. It's like, this is where you are. This is what you got because of who you are. Boom. The sooner you like own that and then step into the reality of like the awesomeness of the fact that you don't have to depend on anyone else to get what you want out of your life. Like the, the, the disappointment that comes with like 
hoping someone will come through for you or waiting for someone to come through for you or expecting someone to come through for you or feeling like someone owes you something to come through for you and then they don't, that's not something you have to worry about with your life. With your life, you're in there, you can get your results and it's on you and that's awesome. So if you're not where you wanna be right now, it's like, one, you have the opportunity to be there but the whole entire change and growth and everything that can has to happen, it's gotta happen right now from like the moment you accurately look at where you're at you know i was taking some tests the other day and i was doing all this stuff and like there were these aptitude tests that i had to take and it was like dude there's no way to study for this either you have it or you don't because you've had the habits to gain these skill sets or you haven't had the habits to gain these skill sets and it just reminded me of life it's like you can lie to everyone you can lie to yourself but the only person that's really going to be fooled for a little while is you and then life will show up to, to really kind of help you understand where you're at and it's mercy understand where you're at so you can understand where you want to where you need to go in order to be who you need to be um so boom that's kind of what's on my mind this morning and what i've been what i've been thinking about and then chaos if you don't ex realize why things are going on the way they're going on in your life like just walk through the process Submit to the process, do your best, and I'm pretty sure a few years from now, you're gonna see exactly what all this stuff is lining up in order to like, boom, give you in life. So I just wanna encourage you, you're doing good. This is your life's work we're working on, so stay the path, stay the course. At the same time, there's no such thing as tomorrow. Tomorrow's not guaranteed to anybody. So whip it on, do what you gotta do today. Love you guys, if you know anyone who could use this message, share it, spin it around, put it out there. All right, y'all. Talk soon.